In this video, I'll show you a new and easy way to animate your slides in Office 365 and PowerPoint 2016. Let's have a look at an example. As you can see, it looks professional and it's easy to make. Stay tuned and we'll get started. First, ensure you have a blank slide and click on insert pictures to import some pictures. I happen to have two pictures saved so I will import those. Next, we want to duplicate each picture so we have two of the same. So right click, copy and paste each image. Next, we will place the pictures as such and we will highlight all the images to select them and we will click align and distribute horizontally. We want to ensure that the images are all aligned correctly so click align and then Align middle. We also want to make sure that the images are the right height and right width. Next, we want to duplicate the slide and on the new slide, we will click on the first image and enlarge it. You also want to make sure you, you place the image in the center, like such. Next, we want to insert a text box, so click insert, then text box. And I will type in a name, a title, and the company name. Feel free to adjust the fonts, the colors, the size, etc. to your liking. I will also change the color of the first image by clicking on it, going to the format tab, clicking on color, and then picking the color. Next, click on Transition and Morph. And as you can see, the image comes alive. So we want to duplicate the second slide. And on the third slide, we want to resize the image back to where it was before. and we'll place it in the center once again.
just make sure that all the images are the same height and width when you do that. Next we click the second image and we repeat the process by enlarging it, placing the image in the center, like such. We'll click on the text box, change the name, the title. and we'll place the text box by dragging it as such. When done, once again click transition and then morph. Next, we duplicate the third slide once again and we resize the image back to where it was before and we place it once again in the center Continue the process of enlarging the third image. Place it in the center. And adjust the text box by changing the name and title. When done, click Transition, Morph once again. Now let's continue by duplicating one more slide. Ensure you have the right height and width for the image. and place it as such. Enlarge the last image. Place it in the center and change the name and title as such.
one last time click transition and then morph So click the third image, go to the Format tab, Color, and pick the color for that image. Go to the first slide, and then go to Slideshow. You can click the mouse button or the space bar to advance the slides. Optionally, we can automate these slides so we don't have to click the mouse or the space bar by giving it a timer. For instance, five seconds. And we'll click apply to all. Now you click the slideshow. As you can see, it is now transitioning automatically. And there you have it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and give this video a like. That's it for now. I'll see you next time.